A surprising announcement today by former talk show host Wendy Williams' medical team. They say she has been diagnosed with a form of dementia, a progressive disorder that has already presented significant hurdles in her life. Joining us now to discuss and explain further is Dr. Gunjuri. She is an assistant professor in geriatrics and palliative care at Rush. Thanks for joining us for this important conversation. A lot of questions out there about this. Hi, thank you for having me. So Wendy Williams is only 59, uh, not an age most of us would think of someone with dementia. Uh, tell us what her condition is called and explain exactly what it is. Absolutely. So uh, this is primary progressive aphasia, which is a subvariant of something called frontotemporal dementia, which actually does affect younger people, um, usually under age 65. And um, the frontotemporal dementia has a couple of different variants. Um, primary progressive aphasia is, uh, comprises about two out of three of those. Um, basically, it's an early loss of language and speech. Um, it can be language in different forms, whether it's um, speaking, understanding, a word uh, finding, sentence structure, um, word comprehension. Um, and it happens pretty early in life. Uh, as you mentioned, you know, other types of dementia happen later. Um, this is one that happens uh, much earlier and can be uh, pretty progressive pretty quickly. Uh, and so it can be absolutely devastating to families and to uh, patients themselves. So I understand this is the same condition that another well-known celebrity, Bruce Willis, has. Um, so you kind of answered the question, part of the question I have for you, which is how quickly does this condition deteriorate? But I also want to know, do we know what causes this? We really don't. Um, sometimes it's people who have had neurocognitive issues in the past. Sometimes it's people who have had um, learning disabilities in the past as well. Uh, there can be genetic variants that um, predispose folks to uh, this kind of dementia. And other times we just don't know. Um, and unfortunately, you know, after language uh, loss, people start to have other losses as well including other forms of cognitive impairment, visual spatial impairment, um, slowly losing things like mobility and the ability to um, do daily activities. Initially, it's daily activities that are reliant on um, uh, language, you know, like uh, communicating on the phone, sending an email, understanding street signs, things like that. Uh, over time, that can progress to worse um, impairments in, in mobility, daily activities, uh, personal care, and things like that. It's well known that Wendy also has uh, Graves' disease. Uh, she was said to openly be struggling with alcohol as well. Could any of those factors have led to this latest condition or even made the condition worse? That's a great question. Uh, sometimes alcohol use can be related to some types of dementia. I'm not aware of a, of a, of a connection like that between alcohol use and um, frontotemporal dementia specifically. Um, I do think that people who have autoimmune disease are often unfortunately just predisposed to other types of um, uh, significant health issues. So that's a possibility. Um, I don't think that is a, uh, a known correlation that, that we really have studied much. So are there known treatments for this? Do we know how to treat it so that people can live with it? Or are we still searching for some solutions in treatment? That's a great question as well. Unfortunately, we don't have disease modulating or disease modifying treatments for this. Um, all of our treatments are really based on symptoms and uh, trying to manage uh, individuals. A lot of it is non-pharmacological treatments, so supportive uh, for the patient as well as for the family. Um, as you can imagine, this is uh, this can be really devastating not only for the patient but for the people who are trying to take care of them as well. Mm -hmm. And so, things that uh, can modify behavior, things that can um, help uh, kind of corral some of the behavior, some of the personality changes, um, mobility support like physical therapy, um, cognitive behavioral therapy, um, addressing mood disorders like anxiety and depression. All of those things can be helpful. Uh, unfortunately, they don't change the underlying disease process. Any clear signs for loved ones out there to watch for and their other relatives? I know it's not always easy to have that conversation with someone, uh, but any advice for loved ones maybe concerned their loved one might have this? That's a good question, too. Um, I think the thing to watch for is acute changes in, in the way people are, are processing language. If someone who was previously sharp is suddenly starting to forget words, not be able to create sentences. 
um, not recognizing things. One of the forms of uh, PPA can, can manifest as just not recognizing um, things that should be known. For example, you know, you show a picture of a turtle and they think it's a dog. Um, things like that can, can be uh, signs, early signs as well. Um, not being able to formulate full sentences on the phone or if they're trying to write an email, not, not, not getting through that sentence. Um, those are things that should really trigger you to take that person to a physician. Um, primary care is a great place to start to do an initial evaluation and then that can evolve uh, further into um, neurocognitive testing, imaging if it's necessary, um, and more specialized um, evaluation. Um, and I think, you know, an important thing to keep in mind also is just to uh, be supportive of the individual and supportive of the people who are taking care of them as well. This can be really hard on, on folks to see their loved ones changing and um, being uh, limited in the things that they were able to do for a long time before. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us and bringing your perspective and educating us on what sounds like an important thing people need to know about. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Let's take a...